Hi guys, you are getting in. Can you hear me? Uh, no, uh, yes. Yeah, you can hear me. Okay, perfect. Um, How are you? <laughs> ¿Cómo están? It's good to see you again. Qué bueno verles de nuevo. How are you? How was your day, guys? Fine. Um, a little um, stress. Stressor. You are like, it was a stressful day? Yes. Um, maybe, maybe not all day, but right now. <laughs> really? Right now, why? ¿Cómo se dice? Estoy ordenando mis libros y ya no hay donde ponerlos. <laughs> okay. I am ordering my my books and I I can find a place for them for it. Yeah. <laughs> like you can find a place, no puedo encontrar como un lugar, right? No, es que um, bueno, los tenía en una era una bookstore. Mhm. Uh -huh. Pero ya no me cabe. Okay, uh, you mean like, um, like, um, una librera, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I understand it happens to me. Um, I don't know, maybe you can buy, um, um, ay, no sé cómo se llaman estas cosas. Um, repisas? Rep repisas? Como para poner cosas y ahí como colocar varios de los libros. It, it can be it can be good for you like to have one of them. Um cuando ya no me caben las cosas, las repisas son mi solución. So maybe you can try it with that. I have one for my um ay, ¿cómo se dice esto? Um like for my teddies, for my bears, my my teddies, my Big plushes, I don't know. Um, todos mis muñecos, mis peluches. Tengo toda una, um, una repisa para ellos. Y estoy pensando seriamente en quitarlos para poner libros. Pero digo, se va a ver feo. Y me gustan mis, mis peluches ahí arriba. Siento que se mira bien cute mi cuarto. <ríe> se ve... I like Abby. <ríe> like me. It, it express my, my, my sense, right? So I understand when you don't have any more space, but it's stressful for you that you can find more space for your books. on my bed. Oh my god. And what do you think about the las repisas? O de um si no quiere tener una repisa también venden como esos ay cómo se llaman, son como cajones, no es que no son cajones, son unas cosas como de plástico grandes donde se puede meter un montón de libros. You can do that for um for have a place to sleep para que siga teniendo su camita para dormir. <laughs> You can do it. Ya le voy a enseñar. Es que son demasiados. Quiero ver. Oh my God. Why there are too much? Son... Oh my God. I I love that. This is like the 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 trilogy of five shades, um, of gray. Right. Yes. <laughs> um, son las dos versiones, las narradas por Ana y narradas por Christian. Oh my god, you have both? Yeah. Oh my god, I love it. I have like my own collections of books. Like I have every book of Twilight and every one for Divergent. Do you ever read Divergent? Or saw the movie? Mm, um, I see the movie, but the book mm, I don't like a movie and don't say. Oh, you didn't like the movie, so you didn't read the books. Sí, it's no, no me gusta la película, no me llamó la atención como que los libros. Oh my God, and they're one of my favorite um sagas. Mm -hmm. 
I really love Divergent. Me, me gusta porque literalmente tiene como esta trama del mundo ordenado como por, por secciones, right? Como um, que les dicen la... No, es que no son fracciones, no me acuerdo ni cómo les dicen. Pero el punto es de que están como los inteligentes y están como los que dan la mano al prójimo y están como los que dicen siempre la verdad, que... Part, que participan en la justicia, los que patrullan y así, y es como la sociedad dividida como por cosas que se supone que cada uno es bueno para hacer and then there are the divergents eh, los, los divergentes que es como aquellos que no pertenecen a un lugar específico porque pertenecen a todo, so I really love it because it's like a really little comparison to the neurodivergent that we have in our realities que es como una pequeña comparación de esa neurodivergencia que existe en la realidad, um, porque de hecho en, el, como en nuestro mundo, right? no en un libro, eh, la neurodivergencia es algo bastante marcado. So they were talking about like neurodivergency and they talk about divergency. I really love it. Um, it was a, one of my favorite sagas when I was a teenager. I read it completely. And I am still a fan. I have all the books. So I understand. Um, maybe you are going to find some place to put in them. Tal vez encuentre un lugar prontito. So I was... Permítame un momento, permítame. Okay, okay, I'm here. I'm so sorry. Um, okay, so we can start with this. We're going to have the topic that is what are you doing on your vacations? What are you doing on your vacations? Imagine that you are on your vacations, right? And we're going to talk about it. But we have the conversation and a little speaking activity first. So maybe we're going to start with the reading activity. I'm going to show you my screen. Y vamos a proceder. Ay, ¿por qué no encuentro? Aquí está. Dice Delmi que se encuentra pendiente de la clase, pero tiene dificultades para hablar, pero sí logra escuchar. Ok, Delmi, está bien. Puede quedarse como oyente. Don't worry. So guys, can you see my screen? Yes, I can. Yes. Okay. So we're going to have a little conversation. This is about I love a sport and it's about like uh, the questions in simple present. So um we're going to remember like simple present we were talking about it too much and now we're going we're learning like the present progressive but you remember how can you use and why can you use the the present uh, the simple present. So we're going to read a conversation about I love sports. I need to volunteers to help me to read this. Who wants to? Sorry. <laughs> uh -huh. Silvia, okay, Silvia, you're going to be Lauren, and I need someone to be Justin. Mm -hmm. Who else? Oh my God, you don't want to participate right here? Les gustan más las actividades de gru grupales, ya los vi. Okay, someone else? Aha, tenemos otra manita. Okay, so Silvia is going to be Lauren and Jennifer Marisela is going to be Justin. Go, girls. Okay. Uh, so, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Free time? Well, well, I love sports. 
really? What sport do you like? Um, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorite. Wow, you are really good athlete. Athlete. When do you play at the teams? This sport. Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them in the television. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to see a sport is a, it's a hobby, right? What do you do like in your free time? And that's great. Okay. Thank you so much. So do you have any questions about the conversation? No, teacher. No. No. Okay. I think it was an easy conversation. Creo que la conversación estaba bastante fácil, de hecho. And we're going to have a little exercise. Vamos a tener un ejercicio práctico. Les voy a mostrar mi pantalla para que lo puedan ver y les explique. This is practicing the simple present. Ya que estamos casi que terminando esta unidad, vamos a hacer esta práctica también del tiempo pasado que era simple present. So this is a snack sorbet. We're going to, um, I'm going to put you into the breakup rooms and you're going to ask the sorbet for someone. Okay, por ejemplo, que en una, en una breakup room están, por ejemplo, ustedes son siete, así que van a ver como tres y cuatro personas. Okay, so se hacen la sorbet, una persona se la hace a otra y esta otra persona a otra y así. Que el punto es que usted le haga la sorbi a alguien más. No importa si las personas se repiten, el punto es que se la haga a alguien más que no es usted. Y le va a preguntar. Do you, how many times do you eat popcorn, for example? Como, uh, ¿cuántas veces comes eh, palomitas de maíz? ¿Ya? Yeah? You are going to ask the questions. Se les van a hacer las preguntas a ustedes. How many times uh, do you eat popcorn? Um, do you eat cookies? How fast? Um, and all of these things, right? So you're going to ask for popcorn, cookies, chocolate, bananas, potato chips, and apples. And you're going to um take notes about if he or she, dependiendo de la persona a quien le pregunte, lo hace siempre, usual, algunas veces, casi nunca o nunca. Sí. So I can say, hey, Sylvia. Um, how many, how many times or how, how much popcorn do you eat? And he, and she can say, um, I usually eat popcorn. Okay. Y ya marco en la casilla de usual. Así que tómenle un screen todos porque tienen que tener su propia sorbi, right? Y esto es para practicar las preguntas y las respuestas in simple present. Esto es en simple present. Don't forget it. So, aquí están algunas, aquí hay una, una pregunta, Avi, que son de, de ejemplo. Like, do you ever have popcorn as a snack? Yeah, like, um, no, I never have popcorn as a snack. Um, do you usually eat bananas? No, I hardly ever eat bananas. Y ya marco hardly ever, right? De la persona quien le está haciendo la sorbi. So do you understand this um this um exercise? ¿Se comprende? Questions? Vamos a utilizar este teacher. Disculpe, no levante la mano. No eh, vamos a, a, a realizar el ejercicio ocupando este todas estas palabras de banana, potato. Ya. Yeah. Lo que va a hacer es y vamos a utilizar las palabras agua, usual. Yes, puede preguntarle. El punto es que usted haga sus preguntas. Si no hay una pregunta en específica, pero hay una pregunta aquí de ejemplo. Por ejemplo, do you ever have popcorn as a snack? También le puede preguntar a alguien, do you ever, do you ever have apples as a breakfast? Como comes manzanas para tu desayuno y esa persona le puede, le va a contestar. A quien usted le está haciendo la survey. Um, yeah, I usually eat... Apples for breakfast. Y usted le marca la casilla de usually ahí en su casita, ¿ok? Y después me va a alguien me va a contar, porque no vamos a hacerlo como todos, eh, qué es lo que su compañero respondió en la survey. So, todos van a tener al menos 
una persona a quien hacérselo, ¿ok? Es como una survey. Okay, le pasa la survey a la persona. Le pasa la entrevista. Thank you. A pleasure. Kate, okay, do you have any more questions? No. No. Ok, so tómenle captura para que la tengan por allí y tengan la survey y puedan ir anotando. Vayan anotando el nombre de su compañera aquí, o su compañero que les contestó y por cada uno de los alimentos que les dijo, si lo come siempre, si usualmente, si a veces, si nunca, si casi nunca, right, lo van anotando así como una survey. Yeah. Ok, so, you are ready? ¿Puedo quitar la pantalla? One second. Sorry? One second. I am sorry. Y se la muestro otra vez. Thank you. A pleasure. Don't worry. I know you need it. Okay. Okay. Ready. Thank you. A pleasure. Ready. Okay, so don't forget it. Per work, does your partner have ever this, uh, that ever eat these snacks? Punto es hacerle preguntas, que usted le haga preguntas a esa persona y en el asorbi, right? Y alguien le va a entrevistar a usted. That's the point. Okay, so I'm going to put you into the breakup rooms. Que van a ver más o menos como cuatro participantes en lo mucho por cada room. So... You are going to, um, así se pueden rotar, como yo se la hago a Leslie, Leslie se la hace a Jenny, Jenny se la hace a Delmi, Delmi se la hace a Jacqueline, Jacqueline me la hace a mí, así, así, como rotándoselas, right? So, go guys. Okay, get into the breakup rooms. Get into the breakup rooms, please. Get into the breakup rooms, guys, and forget it.
teacher.
sorry, les estaba hablando con el micrófono apagado. I'm so sorry. You here? You here? Creo que ya están todos, son nueve, nueve, sí. No sé cómo se me hizo este medio de ser de entre rooms, que algunos salieron, luego entraron y había más en una room que en otra. Yo no les quería cambiar porque no sabía si ya habían hecho como la entrevista con alguien que estaba ahí. So, um, first of all, tell me what happened. ¿Todos pudieron hacer la entrevista? Sí. Yes. ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Hay alguien que no la haya hecho? Sí. Yeah. No, Every, I'm sorry, everyone did it. Okay, that's good. So we're going to socialize or exercise. It wasn't like a complicated exercise because um it's only like using using um simple present and about the meals, right? That was popcorn, cookies, chocolate bananas, but Data chips and apples. Um, yeah, I think it was only that. So, who wants to share your survey? ¿Quién me quiere compartir su entrevista? Dígame a quién se la hizo y qué fue lo que le respondió. Y en inglés, of course. You can tell me. Um, for example, I made the survey to um Silvia Campos, and she says that she always eat popcorns. She never um eat cookie eats cookies. She always eat potato chips, right? In all of this. Como contarme cada uno. So who wants to share the exercise? Mm -hmm. Yes, there. Everyone, I'm asking to you. Don't you want to participate? I mean, you have, you had enough time to do it to do the survey, so I know that we can um socialize it right now. So you can do it. Don't be shy. And I, um, Leslie. So, yo le hice la, la pregunta a Leslie. Ah, uh -huh. the survey was for Leslie, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, she usually eats banana with cereal. Okay. Banana con cereal. Yes. <laughs> in your breakfast. Eh, she never eh, eh, pepper eh, nunca come chiles eat no peppers okay she never eat pepper um and he always eats popcorn eh, when do you go to see movie I or she? What? You say like when you, but um, you are talking like when to she, me or about she? she? <laughs> when she? Uh huh. Yeah. So she, when she goes, cuando ella va, when she goes to see a movie or when she goes to the cinema. Okay, thank you. A pleasure. That's it. That's it. Okay, thank you so much. Silvia, you did it so great. The flowers to you. Okay, good. I like it. I like it. It was a good exercise for Silvia. Okay. Another volunteer, raise your hand. Mm. Yeah. Waiting for you. I know you can do it. Ahora sí tenemos un poquito más de tiempo para socializar el ejercicio. So tell me. Mm 
Yes. Guys, should I pick someone? I don't want to pick someone. It feels so scary when I was a student. So I, I prefer to offer myself as a volunteer than someone pick me. Than my teachers pick me. So um, I, I, I prefer like a volunteer. So I don't want to pick someone. But if you don't want to participate, I'm going to do it. Right? So, is there another volunteer? ¿En qué momento se metió una mosca? Ok, Carlos, ¿está bien? ¿Ya? Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't have problem with my inter... Uh... Eh, I, I don't know, <ríe> como no sé cómo decirlo. Eh, okay. mm -hmm. eh, I, I didn't know eh, what to do because uh, I had a problem with my inter and when 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 I, I did inside in the room. Uh -huh. eh, ya estaban todos, o sea, no, ni, ni la indicación sabía, entonces ellos medio, medio me ayudaron, entonces las preguntas me las hicieron ellos a mí, entonces no sé. Ah, oh, ok. O sea, andaba algo perdido. Yeah, I understand because of the internet, don't worry. But you had like, de no, como, por ejemplo, la Sorbi, aunque no haya sido como con alguien, puede haber sido como usted solito, ¿la llenó? No. No. Okay. So don't worry, Carlos David. Don't worry. Okay. Another is gonna be a volunteer to tell me the the. So I I didn't I didn't know I didn't know to do. No sabía qué hacer. <laughs> okay. You can ask me the next time. Uh, like ask to your classmates what to do. No creo que nadie le haya podido explicar, right? Yo les expliqué a todos y nadie tenía preguntas. So. <laughs> Um, we're going to see if someone else wants to tell me about the exercise, okay? Um, what about Leslie? You there, Leslie? Yes, um, yo le pregunté a Silvia. Okay, it's um, okay. She always eats pepper. Um, I love pepper uh, usually eat corn y no sé cómo sería decir como que en atol en tamal en tortas like that because it's a nombre propio <laughs> ah. ok um, sí always bananas eat eat bananas for every day. Okay. That's it. That's it. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Thank you so much. It was a good, really good example, okay? Um of Sylvia wants to eat. Remember que cuando estamos hablando de she or he in English decimos el verbo con la S. She eats. He eats, remember, eso no se les estoy escuchando, so don't forget it, don't forget it. Lo demás está súper bien. Okay, when you say like, um, for example, these examples about Sylvia, and you say, she always eats pepper, for example. She always eats pepper, con la S porque es una tercera persona, una she, okay? Y cuando vimos el presente, el simple present, nos dimos cuenta de que las personas, la tercera persona, que es él, ella y eso, se les agrega la S en positivo. Si usted me dijera que no come, you can say, she doesn't eat pepper. Pero como en este caso sí come, decimos, she always eats pepper. Con la S al final, que se escucha. Right? That's my only um, advice to you, es mi consejo para ustedes, recordándoles aquí la gramática. But you did it so great. Do you have any problems to do this exercise? ¿Alguien tuvo algún problema para hacer el ejercicio? Sí. Aparte del problema de internet. No. No. 
everything was no, fine, okay. right? It, it was pretty easy. It was pretty easy. Okay, so if you don't have, a, well, tell me if you have any questions, of course. Do you have questions about the class, about the exercise, or the questions you, the questions you made? No, it was easy. Okay, no. perfect. No. Excellent. So if you don't have any more questions, I'm going to see you tomorrow in class, everybody. Don't forget to do the platform at the final exam, okay? See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.